This is Rob Ismay and you're watching Sport and Icons. Okay, so I've seen this statement from Tyson Fury yesterday, then totally forgot all about it until I've done my usual. Each and every day I'm watching a video from Ring IQ. So big up to him. Go over there and check out his channel. I love that channel. Now, Tyson Fury, he said this about Jake Paul fighting his brother, Tommy Fury. It's quite clear to see now that Jake Paul needs Tommy Fury because Jake Paul did 60,000 buys against his last opponent, which is pathetic. If he'd have fought Tommy, it would have been in the millions. We know who needs who. Tyson Fury's statement. Okay, so firstly, the reason why Jake Paul had a rematch against that guy whose name I forgot. Listen, I don't follow MMA or UFC or anything. Tyrone Woodley, is it? Something like that. Anyway, it's because he did it on, what, a week's notice? Something like that? Because Tommy, his ass fell out. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened. This is Tommy Fury the younger brother of Tyson, who said that he could fight Jake Paul, he could beat him with one hand tied behind his back, and he didn't care if he had broken ribs on one leg and all this kind of stuff, he's easy work. Yeah, what happened? He got a broken rib, apparently, and developed a, <coughs> a, little, <coughs> a little cough and pulled out the fight for over a million. For over a million dollars, he pulled out the fight. Now, let's be real about it. Tommy Fury's had seven professional fights. Seven. And between those seven opponents, 14 wins between them. 14! Only 14 wins between them, with over 150 losses between them. So, Tommy Fury ain't exactly a killer. His profile, people here in the UK don't really know Tommy Fury. They may have heard of him because of his brother Tyson, and those who watch, say, uh, was it Love Island or whatever it was, and again, do they have Love Island in America? Because that's where the pay-per-views are going to be coming from. Do... Americans watch Love Island? Are they aware who Tommy Fury is? Probably not. And those who watch this Love Island thing, probably not boxing fans. They probably follow him on Twitter when he was competing in that um, whatever it is that they do. Is it a competition? I don't know. I never watched it a day in my life. But they probably followed him on social media then and probably haven't watched a single fight of his. And if they did, they'd be bitterly disappointed. Bitterly disappointed. Right now, he's not good enough to win an area title. But yeah, he got gifted this opportunity to fight Jake Paul for over a million and had a little cough and allegedly a broken rib. But isn't Jake Paul just a YouTuber? Isn't Tommy Fury the boxer? Yeah, okay, he's the boxer who's fighting journeyman. That's how much of a boxer he is. Extreme journeyman at that. Extreme journeyman. In fact, his last opponent... Hadn't even had a fighting background. But yet, Tommy Fury went the distance with him. But yet, Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury would have sold millions. Why? Because he's your younger brother, Tyson? Who you, against Deontay Wilder, for the WBC World Heavyweight title and Ring Magazine, couldn't even get past 600,000 pay-per-view buys in your last fight. But yet, your younger brother, whose profile is far less than yours, he's the pulling power for Jake Paul, yeah? He's the pulling power. Look, if you're going to lie, which of course Tyson Fury does, he can't help himself, at least make it realistic. Don't say millions, just say would have done a lot more numbers. Yeah, it probably would have done. Because people don't really like rematches too much. Especially when it's a fight that they weren't thinking about and then suddenly he gets switched because the opponent, his ass went. Because he had a little, <coughs> a little chest infection. But yeah, he's supposed to be this great boxer. Okay, this great boxer, okay. Who's going to be fighting next? I'll tell you who. Some bin man is who he's going to be fighting next. This is Tommy Fury who doesn't headline any shows himself. He's an undercard fighter. And he hasn't been looking very good. Listen, I'm not criticising his opponents. He's fighting the opponents he should be fighting. But let's not say how Tommy is this well-renowned, well-respected boxer because he ain't. Well, let's see who he fights next. Is he going to fight Adam Gear? Well, he's 6-0. Oh. He's had a fight less than Tommy. Is he going to fight him? Not in your life. What about Rob Ismay? Not in your life. Tommy Fury, who's supposed to be the future of the light heavyweight division, can't make light heavyweight no more. So he's having to fight a cruiserweight. So go fight some cruiserweights. Go fight Adam Gear. Go fight Ro um, Rob Ismay. There's a whole bunch of names out there, but he won't. He's going to fight somebody who you never heard of from Latvia. Probably from Latvia or Lithuania or someplace like that. Top Tommy, listen, I'd, 
I do actually quite like Tommy and I do wish him well, but he got gifted this opportunity, gifted this opportunity and he walked away from it. And Tyson seemed to think that Jake Paul needs Tommy Fury. Be out of yourself. Jake Paul could fight me and do very, very well at the box office, providing he gets time to promote it. I'm not offering my services, by the way, I'm just saying. But that's how it could be with uh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul, whether we like it or whether we don't, he is somewhat a face of boxing right now. Tommy Fury ain't. Tommy Fury, not even close to it. Tommy Fury is the equivalent to a gatekeeper's reputation right now. Because he hasn't done anything. He's 7-0. Combined victories, 14. Over 150 losses between them. Come on now. Stop talking out your complete backside, Tyson. Please. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you on the next video.